So I have here a very quick review of this book. It was given to me for my birthday a few weeks ago by my mum, actually, uh, and it's, it's really good for many reasons. First of all, it's, it's a really nice ladybird book, and therefore it has lots of lovely illustrations uh, throughout. It's also by Jim Alkali, who I think is a very, very good uh, physics presenter that kind of really explains science very well. And also it's about quantum mechanics, which is very interesting, but not always taught on your course, especially the, the later content of this book. It starts well with these lovely symbols, OK? Uh, I think you might find this familiar. If not, then you probably need to do a bit more physics to kind of find out where these come from and how these show things like particle interactions. Uh, it starts with kind of some of the basic things about, you know, classical physics, which is kind of 99% of A-level physics. Uh, and then it goes on to the kind of stuff that you hear about. Um, maybe some of this you cover at the end of year 12, perhaps. But a lot of the stuff in this book is um, things like Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, Schrodinger, both particle duality, the kind of things which are really a lot more interesting than a lot of kind of stuff that you spend most of your time doing in physics. Also, you need to make sure you do physics so you actually understand uh, you know, the, the kind of sort of content of the book. But I think it's, uh, it's a really nice book to read. Um, so that's my recommendation for this month, Quantum Mechanics by Jim Al-Khalili. Uh, a short read, very simple, and it kind of puts what can be quite complicated physics uh, in a small readable format. Thank you.